Hey up Reds, we're in Oaks working men's club in Ardsley, our business supporters. Big thanks to Oaks for having us down today, uh, following Barnsley's 2-1 win yesterday. So, first miracle, Barnsley have won. Alan and Andy's here with me. First miracle, Barnsley have ended their uh, their losing streak. Second miracle, look what I've got lads, we're in a pub and I've got this. So all it. Uh, does that mean finally buy the pint? Does that mean watch foot moths? Does that mean it's payday? <laughs> Is that payday, Andy? Four and a half years we've waited for this, Al. It's not got here yet. It's still not oh, done we it used yet. To get Four it. and a half years, nearly five years, Al. What do you used to get? A cup of coffee or tea? It was a cup of coffee, and he moaned I got, at that. I got orange juice. They didn't even make it. Never had anything stronger than not percent. I'm a presenter. I don't make cups of tea. Yeah. No, I didn't. Get someone else to do that. Oh. <laughs> right, yeah. let's let's get him a pint. Come on. What we got? You got? You got? I've even look at this, Reds. They moan at me, but look at this. I've even got a red all Finally. over glasses Finally. and all. It's here. We're going to be getting some of them away soon. Uh, so, yes, sir. Okay. right. Thank you, John, sir. What we got? Let's get pints in. Look at you, Al, having it in your glass and everything. Eh? Do you know, it says, let's get pints in like he does it all the time. Uh, yeah. I mean, <laughs> oh, no, First time in four pint and a half years. Sorry, half pint <laughs> box. We'll call it in half if I want. <laughs> <laughs> If it saves me some money, then you can. <laughs> uh, what do I have? What are we having? What are you having, Andy? I'm going to try this. What's, I'm going to try this. It's IPA for me. By the way, Reds, I'm just letting you know, this is a one-off. <laughs> what, like result last night? It's not, Joe. No, it's not. It's the future. Not it's a this. winner. It's, you see this? It's like magic. It'll be disappearing soon. It's gone. Check name. It's like, don't don't, don't uh, pay uh, uh, unless you've checked names. I've heard it's I've heard it's Catherine's or his dad's. It's not Catherine's, his. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Is there anything else? Thank you, mate. Uh, yeah, can I have a lager shandy as well, please, Steve? Thank you very much. Look at that. Uh, the first. Here it is. Come on. Oh, we're waiting for him. I'm not going to say cheers until I've got one. He's not going to say cheers until I've paid for it. All this time and we've still not had a drink out of it. He'll be asking Dar Darren and committee for discount. <laughs> yeah, that's not a bad shout, actually. What, what do you reckon, no, Steve? No. Ten no, pay your way. Ten percent? <laughs> Five percent? Two percent? Look at it again, look. I'm, I'm from Barsley, like, you got to, you know, we can save a few, Bob. What, long iron short pockets? <laughs> well, oh, you're going to get that in a sec, go on then, how much? 9.60. <laughs> Oh. Sweating a bit here. Yeah, oh no, there's things I do for your two, eh? Things I do for your two. Right, Reds. Shall we crack on with talking about some football now? Hey, before we go. Come on, you Reds. Oh, he's making. <laughs> oh, don't, don't tell him it's declining until after we finish. Cheers, finish Cheers the to fight. everybody. Cheers, the Reds. Best. Back to winning ways. You Reds. This is the Red All Over Show with me, Joe Beards All. Alan and Andy, and we got Steve as well from Oaks Working Men's Club. That's where we are today. Thanks to Oaks for supporting us and get you sent down for a pint. Right. Uh, we've brought you in for a different reason, haven't we? Unfortunately. Derby <laughs> fan. Derby fan. I wonder why we might want to chat to him. <laughs> so well, we've come down to the show from here. Like that. My mates live in Derby. All fans. Well, well, they, they, they did say, uh, although they did say, we weren't going to play them again when Marais got sat, did they? No. How little do they know? Yeah. How little do they anyway, know? can we crack anyway. on with show? Because Paul Conway has told us last night that he watches this and that we do talk... Sorry, Paul, I know they're a bit long for you, mate, so we're going to shot, shot it down today for you. We're going to try his best. But, Paul, I'm just going to say this one thing to you, mate. If you had to put up with these two and trying to shut these two up, you'd have an hard job and all like me. So, anyway, <laughs> here we go. So, first things first, Barnsley winning 2-1. Hit subscribe. We want to try and get 2,000 if we can. Steve, we didn't get much of a... Um, a derby perspective on last night's show unfortunately we do try to get opposition a bit of a say but we were just too giddy I'm going to be honest <laughs> <laughs> so what did you think from a derby I know obviously we've got the Barnsley affiliations yep. and all. punters giving you some banter today oh, got, well I've not seen anybody yet so it's been quiet so far <laughs> we can sort that we'll get them yeah, down yeah. <laughs> but I'm sure, yeah I'm sure I'll get some stick over the weekend but uh, yeah it's um, to be fair I were a bit a bit shell shocked because the goal scenes could just come out of nowhere. I mean, I don't know who picked up, who were picking up the runner for a second. They were just like, where is it? And then, like I said, in the shot as well, it, I don't know whether it was a shot or, or a cross, but I've, I've, since I've seen it back, it, is, it was a shot. And I was like, my jaw was just on the floor. I was like, what has just happened? And like I said, two 
perfect times to score as well, just before half time and just after. So you know, I think then second goal just rocked us, and that was it. Nobody were interested. So it was always, it. and then the usual last five minutes is when they really go for it, and then you know it's all too little, too late, basically. No nails left. No. <laughs> I've got to say, I was nervous when he tipped post, but that's that's when your look changes, doesn't it? I mean, yeah. you know. Well, it was the same against Blackburn the previous week, and uh, we got the goal back, and then he shoved Curtis Davis up front, Ruse was coming up, and it was just mayhem. And like I said, we, we hit the post twice against Blackburn, but yeah, so you kind of thought, well, maybe we could, could nick one, because like I said, I've been to a couple of Barnsley games this season and, and watching you just like, you know, a bit of pressure, and, and they, they, they did crumble. Um, so, but like I said, went to the Sheffield United game, and then that last five minutes, when you, if you'd have just gone for it in the last minute, you probably might have nicked an equaliser. But like I said, it, it swings and roundabouts in football, and some days you win it, sometimes sometimes you don't. So, I'm going to ask you how you're feeling today, because obviously you've got <laughs> Derby fan. With Barnsley affiliations, obviously Barnsley winning probably means punters spend a few extra. They might even, extra, even have bought these two a pint today, so you know miracles do happen. <laughs> so, which way are you feeling? Just... Like I say, I'm happy. Barnsley won. I've lived here since I was nine years old. That's not thirty plus years. So I am always happy. But like I said, it'd have been nicer because Derby can't afford to be six points adrift now. I think that's just made the job a lot harder. We could have been done with more. That it's more for a morale boost rather than it was, it was quite. It would have been symbolic for us to be off the bottom with that points deduction with and another one looming. It would have been nice to say, well, we've actually made a bit of headway and it get get everybody a lift. And I think now it's 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 put us back at rock bottom and it's start again. Like so, like I said, watched Rooney's interview and he weren't happy, so I think everybody's probably feeling the same way. <laughs> he did. He says, teams like Barnsley, shame on you, Mr Rooney, shame on you. We well, really love that, don't we? I don't know about you, before. Joe and Al, but I, I'm gutted for you, Steve. Gutted that you're at the bottom of the table <laughs> and gutted that you're the crossband into equalise. I feel so... So sad about that. Uh, hey, be nice to him, Andy. He's sputting show. He's a little hoax. So hey, I've got to let him hey, off. Have you heard about Barnes? They're spiking drinks. They might not know how to take the wood hey, out, it's Mr. Lovely. Lovely, that. Mr. Simcox. Lovely. It tastes even nicer since somebody bought it for us. Even nicer. <laughs> oh, here we go. Well, Steve, uh, last word on Derby. Difficult situation, but I suppose important thing. Ben Fern, who was a Derby fan, came on and said, you know, it's about making sure clubs survive long term now. Basically, but, yeah. yeah. I mean, they've been through through plenty of our ties they've been down at the bottom before and they've come back so there's no reason why we shouldn't do it now there's interested parties in looking at so hopefully the survival of the club will be you know be secured and that's the most important thing at the end of the day it doesn't matter where what league you're in you're still gonna have that core of supporters so it's derby till i die (laughs) <laughs> and we're going to let you off for being a Derby fan since you're posting red all over. Good, good no man, sporting show. So get you sent down for a pint. We've got all good coming up. All. Just yeah, there's plenty on. Uh, obviously, there's all your usual quiz night, which tonight, bingos and stuff. But we've got plenty of good bands. So check out us Facebook site. Uh, I think we're on Instagram as well, Twitter, all the usual places. So there's plenty coming up. So get Brilliant. yourselves down. Give him a round of applause, gang. Oaks. Cheers. <laughs> Steve from Oaks. Cheers, Cheers mate. Cheers. Ooh, makes it sound like we've actually got some support in here. I just rallied. I've paid them all a fiver. Cheers, Leon. Cheers. <laughs> hey, let's talk a little bit from a Barnsley point of view then now. Let Steve get out of the way. So, yeah, that be rubbish, weren't they? Yeah. <laughs> oh, hey, that were a bit naughty. What, what, what naughty, sign did you just give me there? That. <laughs> anyway, we need to crack on for Paul so that he doesn't get annoyed at how long the show is. Uh, <laughs> hey, we don't run this show for Paul hey, Conway, hey. you know. He runs a football no. club. You yeah. run red all over. Yeah. Come on. You don't right. tell him how to. Oh, actually, Listen. you do tell him how to run his club. You're right. No, you're, you've got you've got every right in to fact, say what you want, fact, then, haven't you? I don't need to say my saying. Do I? I'm not sticking up footboard, but it's all been right. a while on it since. I've Khaled, seen it. come He's on, all right. come on, Khaled. You can come in now. It's all right. Khaled's not on this one. He just likes to photo bombers like he did last night in his reaction. <laughs> Going back. But Alan, we'll go to you first, Del, because you weren't on instant reaction because you can never be bothered. You like to just go on slash. Apparently, you can't get out of car park. That's an excuse and a half. I don't, well, want the abuse. I don't want the abuse from other people in the car park. <laughs> Thank you very much. It's me, you mean? <laughs> <laughs> well, what we used to have abuse in the car park and the same bit, but now I block yeah. everybody else in. Come on now, what did you think to last night's game, mate? It was uh, unbelievable, wasn't it? The shackles were off from uh, shop. The shop shackles were off and everybody performed... 110% and that's what we want to see as Barnes fans everybody Britain were a man possessed 
Gomez, 96.7%, I think his passing rate, unbelievable. Benson, playmaker, oh, outstanding. Uh, Aseka, 3-3. Three and three. What more can you say? It were a team with heart, spirit, drive, and the 12th man were us fans. It were amazing just to be inside. Even when it went 1-0 down, the fans cheered. It wasn't... Uh, booing them and that's what we need we need everybody on board and really looking forward to Saturday against Hull now it's we've turned a corner and to and to see uh, Joe Lauman and how passionate he is and put at the end of the game putting his arms around players Woodrow uh, Jasper Moon who are being left uh, hung out to dry one that's what it needs we're seeing Valerian Ishmael in Lowman and that's what we need to get our team back winning as we did last night. Oh, well, Norris, that was a bit passionate from our wasn't it? Good stuff, that, mate. And his stat were rate as well, I know that, because Doug O'Kane from Barnsley Chronicle put that stat on, so I know it's bang on. Good work, Al, good work, Thank I'm you. impressed. You see, this is what happens when I buy him a pint, a bit of motivation, a bit of encouragement. Apparently, it makes a big difference. Sure, I'll buy one a bit more often. <laughs> Andy. He's getting giddy, isn't he? He's getting giddy. giddy. Another oh, well, I wanted to mention Mads Anderson as well, coming back. I thought Mads were he, make, he makes a difference to Elik. What I would say, just a word of caution, one day swallow, don't make a summer. <laughs> it could that all, safe for a bit, don't you? It could, all, it could all go wrong on Saturday. If it don't, we're going to international break in a really strong position then and, and that's what that, that's what we need we've got some old boys coming back but that that'll be good if we if we can put one over on hull i sincerely hope we do then we can build on what we did last night and i'm really really chuffed for the the fans and the players and the, and the club itself so good luck to everybody right before we crack on and talk about hull i want to introduce alex come on over here pal Barnsley College uh, journalism student Alex is going to be helping out with show a bit, so nice to introduce you. We're calling him Silent Alex because, <laughs> not that he's silent, he has got a voice, but if you've watched a few weeks ago, we had Blackburn lot on, and they've got a silent Dan who does a bit of work behind the scenes, and that's what we're bringing Alex in for, to, do, to help us out a bit. Uh, so, sorry Alex, but silent Alex. But yeah, it's free, fine. Mate. But what do you think yeah. last night? Yeah, I know you're on fan cam, you had yeah. a bit more reflection though now. Really positive, um, obviously. First win in, what is it? A, a long time. A long, a long time, time, basically, yeah. <laughs> um, I just think, like you said, the shackles were off the players. Um, obviously, shop's gone, and I feel like the place was a lot more positive. Like, the players just seemed happier, and they played with more freedom, so I'm really happy, and hopefully it can kick-start a season. I mean, Hull next week, or this week, Saturday, we've got to win that. Um, we've got some tough games coming up after Fulham. That'll be difficult, but just got to play his game, really, and see what happens. Yeah, let us know what you think, Red Set performance, but also the big question mark now is Gaffer. I mean, you know, Joe Lauman completely different compared to Shop. Are we now thinking is he the man, or is it too early to say, Andy? What do we think? Well, he's got, he's got, to, he's, he's, he's got to be in the frame, hasn't he? But you know, let's not forget it's one game. You know, he's, he's, he's turned it round, and I'm not not going to knock him at all because the the changes he made. There were a few to start with, and I thought. Jasper should have for me before we, before we kicked off should have been taken out to the uh, the firing line because that lads had some right stick from the previous coach, not particularly from the fans, um, and I've as I said it um, on the instant reaction when 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 Victor were picked I thought we, we've got other people on the bench that I think could be better than Victor, although the last home match Victor had the game of his best game for Barnsley, and you know I'm saying to my brother. He's, he's doing his he's doing his best victory and he's doing all right, but he's never going to score because he doesn't score. And what does he do? Then he goes and scores. So yet again, I made a fool of a few weeks ago. I said, Corley, don't you take that free kick, Corley?" And he got upset with me apparently. And then he put it in. So he made a fool out of me, and I've been victors made a fool out of me. It all goes to show I'm a fool. <laughs> Good again, summary. I'm last, a fool. But last night, for me, it was best 90 minutes we've had this season. Yeah. Total. You know, we've had 45 minutes, which we did at QPR, and it all went uh, last 15 minutes, Sheffield United, but it was complete. It was complete performance last night. Lowman get job? Or too early, Al? I think I think too early yet, but I do love him. I think he's. I mean, I play football with him on a Monday, on a Monday night, and we have some rate battles. Me and Joe. You, you so. can't say name drop it. Play football with him on a Monday night. You can't say this moment. Yes, but 
is going to put his hat in the ring, isn't he? Uh, the players love him, that's certain to see from last night, because where he was with Valerian. So the dressing room is a happy dressing room now. Why would he want to change that? He's got a strong, strong link to getting that job full time for me. I think, I think requirement number one though, Alex, has got to be win this weekend again. Still, yeah. got that's got to be you know, like Andy says, yeah, okay, we're all buzzing at the minute. But you've got to beat all to to give you a chance of getting back out. Isn't yeah, it? you've got to. I mean, their fans are not pleased with their start to the season at all, and um, it's well, we're not either, but we've got to win. Like our team finished in playoffs last season. We've got the same team really, apart from Mo and DK, but. Just got to win, um, take each game as it comes, like I said. But we've got to prioritise this game and we've got to win it. Would you go Joe Lauman as coach or do you think it's a bit early to I'd say? say a bit early, but it depends what happens on Saturday. I say if we win on Saturday, then I'd give it him. Uh, maybe not straight away, but I'd seriously consider him. I think it's a bit too early now, but you saw the passion last night at the end of the game. He jumped on Victor, um, celebrating with him. It just goes to show I think the players love him, like you said, um, and I think he should be a strong contender for the job. Yeah, I think from my point of view, like, you know, obviously I joke about playing football with him, but he's a passionate guy. He's a guy who puts, you know, he's very committed. You can tell he knows his stuff. Uh, I mean, just me and Thomas Webster, I'm going to name Joby Tom, talking at Ponty last night. And he said, like, little things like Josh has mentioned on show many times about getting down channels. Like, that, he just fixed that problem. All he did is just basically said, right, centre half, you, Mads, you're going to have to go across, or you know, Jasper's got to go across, and it just it just helped us in that in that little tactical tweaks like that that we've just lacked so much under Marcus Short. Well, one thing one thing's for clear, he's made a difference, hasn't he? There's absolutely no doubt he's made a difference. Alan said the shackles are off, and he's, he's not wrong with that. So whatever happens, I mean, you know, we don't need to rush now, do we? Because we haven't got a poor coach. We've got somebody who knows what he's doing. We've got the back in the supporters, and the players. So you know, there's there's no rush. Whatever happens, I would like to see him continue at the club. I wouldn't want you know you get you get managers and new coaches, and sometimes they want to bring their own men in, and so the ones that are in post then have to go. I wouldn't wouldn't want that because th th this this guy will be a good influence on this on this club without being shackled himself. And let's be honest, you know. I would say that Shot may well have well shackled him as well. Who yeah, knows? but in 15 games, Shot never, how can I put it, linked us in. He never got to the fans, did he? He never had a link with us. In one game... Are you sure it wasn't just you, Al? Well, it probably was. But, he just didn't like you, Al. But he La told us. Laumann has, has this effect on our fans. He's grown on us straight away. He's there for us, which Shot wasn't. He just walked off. He gave us everything last night as the player is on the pitch. So yeah. for me, he's yeah. a cracking guy. I'm not making yeah. him as joyous, yeah. but just, just his passion. And I see the passion of a coach, what passion we have as fans. He only likes him because he knows that first time I played football against him, he double-footed me and gave me a big bruise. That's the only reason he likes him, it's, isn't it, Al? It were an added <laughs> bonus. I'll tell you what, though. I'll tell you what. If he'd have played against Smithy in his prime, it, it wouldn't have still be stood up if he'd have double-footed Alan. I'll tell you now. <laughs> I'll, I'll tell you that now, on, Joe. On, you wouldn't, they, you wouldn't they, have sorted they, Alan out. They, that were proper football when men were men, weren't it? We no, weren't. Back oh, in my day. Can't, can't touch me. We weren't delicate we, little we flowers, delicate. were we, Alan? We played in mud. We played in all. We did. Did. We're a proper case in all. Proper, yeah. A proper case. I love yeah. you. I love, I love you. Hey, <laughs> crowd, we got crowd hey, noise. Hey, we got, hey, the crowd's here. The crowd's still here. I've still got The crowd's still here. <laughs> hey, I'll have you know, I play, I play football in one well, me lads. You know, Thursday night, six aside, you don't get rougher than that, I tell they. They're all booting me up in here. He knows no. I want to ask you, a few reports. Now, we know that it's all blooming nonsense, let's be honest, when it comes to manager. Everybody's saying somebody's going to be manager. It's either somebody from here, somebody from there. Chris Wilder's name's been mentioned a lot. Seen sort of, obviously, some articles about whether he could be coach. What are you thinking with this? Because, I mean... Top coach, obviously, did a brilliant job with Chef United. I really like him. But would he really fit Barnsley? I, I, what do you think, Alex? Chris Wiley, would he fit Barnsley's way and what owners want to do? I mean, they've got mm. quite a big identity. I think he'd want his own reign over things. Well, uh, I don't think he'd like the owners, to be honest. I think that's the only problem. I think the fans would take to him because he's a passionate guy. Obviously, Yorkshireman, but I'm not sure he would come here. Like, he's a Chef United fan, and I doubt he'd want to come into a relegation battle when he's been playing football in Premier League. Finished fifth with Sheffield United. I know he's been in League One, but I think he's better than Barnsley. I hate to say it, but I think he is a Premier League manager. 
So there is that, but then I kind of thought he's a South Yorkshire lad, isn't he? You know, he's a Sheffield lad. He, he might he might want to stick local. I mean, you know, there's been elements with that. With like Eki, for example, obviously went to Leeds. I don't want to talk about that too much, but then he's gone to Blaze now, hasn't he? So there is that element that if he wants a local job. Well, I don't think it'll happen, but I've said before, I, I, I would absolutely love him to get the job. I, mean, I think Alan disagrees with me, but I would love him to get the job. <laughs> I think he's, I think he'd be, you know, for locally, it'll be the best the best one. But I can't, I can't like, like Alex has said, I can't see it happening. But I would love him to be the manager because I think he'd, uh, he'd give us what we need. How we get on with it, I don't, I don't know. We won't pay the coinage to get him, as simple as that. You gotta think big, Al. You gotta stop ah, thinking these teams no. like Barnsley. No, 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 you gotta no. think big. Not teams. Think big, Al. Look, I'm I'm going up wild. We've been in Times Square, look, look, you know? I'm going up wild. We've been up there in Times Square. Think big, Al. See, yeah. you wonder why. We wonder why our mate Paul not put. It's because of you, Al. Because you say now, now, yeah. Paul, not worth money, not worth it, mate. Save your pennies. <laughs> you don't say that to Paul Conway when you meet up with him, do you? Ooh. You see, is it? <laughs> anyway, no, uh, with that in mind, this show's probably gone on quite a long time, so we're going to have this as part one. Part two will be coming up soon with our preview of Hull, you Reds. <laughs> <laughs>